threads to your door, and so much more. What's inside the new Z-Box threads? I obviously don't know what's inside this latest box, this la latest offering from Z-Box Threads, but I can tell you, based on previous experiences, and I'm sure no spoiler message should be told in advance, but in the past, we have gotten ourselves comic trade paperbacks and t-shirts. Did I just give it away? Did I just give it away? I'm yelling up to Gary up in the top there, the producers. Hey, can I give it away? But I'm paying attention. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up and see what we got inside. I can tell you that much like previous instances, previous outings, this Z-Box Threads is pretty meaty in the way of the weight departments. It would be funny if I just opened this up and it was a series of strip loin steaks. That would be a, certainly a meaty box and likely a smelly box as well. I can tell you, based on my nose, which is, as far as I know, still at the edge of my face, sticking out from my face, I can tell you that I don't smell meat, decaying or otherwise, so I don't think there's meat included. It would really defeat the purpose completely of calling it the Z-Box Threads if it was containing beef. I'm going to go ahead and put this pillow away. I'm going to keep that for my friend, the little tiny squirrel that comes to visit from time to time. We're wanting to rest his head, personally, just between you and me. I think him and Mrs. Squirrel aren't doing so well. And I think he just tries to find a reason to get out. He always says, I'm going to go out and get some peanuts. But we all we know what else he's doing. He just needs to get away from Mrs. Squirrel. She's driving him nuts. He's driving out for nuts, but he's basically coming over here and hanging out. We play Nintendo, and he likes to rest his little head on that tiny little cushion pillow. If only a world was so simple as that, eh? If you could just have, like, a little knock on your door... You would hear it a little further down to the door because the squirrel would be knocking. You open it up. Hey, Kevin, come on in. And little Kevin comes in, puts his feet up on the couch and says, I've had a bad day. I'm always about tell me about it. Tell me about it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, let's see what we got going on inside. What we got inside is Aquaman. Whoop. We've got... Whoop. Aquaman, I just had to flip that tag over so you guys weren't seeing it. DC Comics Originals, this is the Aquaman, uh, what issue would this be? It says 12 cents. It says, featuring the king of seven of the seven seas and his young ally, Aqualad. And it's the invasion of the fire trolls. Yeah, that could put a bit of a damper in your day. Forget about Mrs. Squirrel. Imagine having to contend with lava creatures. That would pretty, pretty much suck. Although, Mrs. Squirrel, I've met her, to be fair, just between you and me. And Mrs. Squirrel doesn't even watch these because she thinks video content creating on YouTube is absolutely ridiculous. But just between you and me, I can see why Kevin leaves the house every single night. She's a bit of a... She's a bit of a bore. And she's a nag. I've said already too much. I, my life is not already in jeopardy. Uh, a nice looking t-shirt, though. We can put that most definitely to the side. And we also got ourselves some trade paperbacks. Coincidentally enough, the tr trade paperbacks that we're having a look at so happen to also be the same books that we got inside the My Geek box. Now, far be it for me to cross-promote one subscription box to the other, but it just so happens that these were both included. I guess there was a huge sale on Star Trek graphic novels because everybody jumped on board and was adding these to their own required their own specific subscription boxes snagged those bad boys up and bad girls whoop, right into the box and then they taped them off and sent them on their way which i guess is fine because really if you're a star trek fan and haven't subscribed to anything else other than one subscription box maybe you're not like me maybe you're not addicted to these subscription boxes and if you've only subscribed just to one and one alone then this has met whatever requirement you had for a day to be good waking up in the morning feeling despaired and disappointed but then realizing having had it a lot worse than you did Maybe only having subscription boxes coming to your door and having graphic novels for Star Trek inside with graf a graphic depiction, that's not really a great way to describe it, of uh, Jerry Ryan's portrayal of Seven of Nine. Yeah, that's probably not a great way to describe it. Maybe that was enough just to make your day a, a little bit brighter, 
a frown upside down for the rest of your day. So there you go. I mean, if even if you didn't subscribe to anything else other than just Z-Box threads right off the bat, my friends, you as a Star Trek fan fulfilled for the day, just like that. Uh, obviously for me, being that we've already, I've already had a look at these, bo these books before, for me, the price of admission obviously is gonna be the Aquaman and Aqualad adventuring into the, the dire depths of the sea battling the lava creatures. I can tell you that would be pretty difficult, but then Kevin's got to go home tonight, so I don't... Sorry, Kevin. I'm sorry. He's not even listening. He's off crying in the corner. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Z-Box threads, it's simply a case of clicking the link down below, and then we'll take you over to Z-Box's website, and you can subscribe. And you can get graphic novels, trade paperbacks, and other comics, and a t-shirt, because that's off, after all, the name of the box is Threads. So if you want to be getting yourself some neat, swanky threads, then perhaps you would want to subscribe to the Z-Box threads. And speaking of subscribing, no, no, not Z-Box threads. I know I already mentioned that. But if you want to do some other subscribing, say you've got a itchy, twitchy finger and you need to be subscribing to other things. And if you are new to this channel, or let's just say longtime viewer, and you're a procrastinator and you kept putting it off, I'm going to go out and get peanuts, you said, but you never come home with peanuts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Swing on over to Kevin's Treehouse. You can probably even hear the, hell, the yelling happening right now. She's tearing a piece out of him. Uh, make sure, though, you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so when future videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.